Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find f of z in terms of z, where f of z is an analytic function which is u plus i v, and the given expression is 2u plus v equal to e power x into cos y minus sin y. Now, as a first part, we are going to find partial derivative of this expression with respect to x. So, u x, 2 u x plus v x equal to y terms are constant, so derivative of e power x is e power x and all the constants are written as it is cos y minus sin y. Now, partial derivative with respect to y becomes 2 u y plus v y equal to e power x is a constant which stays as it is and derivative of cos y is minus sin y and minus sin y is minus cos y. Now, using CR equations, we have ux equal to vy and vx, sorry, uy equal to minus vx. So, this uy is changed into minus vx and this vy is changed into ux using the CR equations. Now, First equation 2ux plus vx equal to e power x into cos y. Let's expand this side minus e power x into sin y. This is our first equation and this is our second equation. First equation is written as it is. Second equation this is 2 into minus vx. So minus 2vx plus vy is ux which is equal to minus e power x sin y minus e power x cos y. This is our second equation. Now we have to make the same coefficient. So minus 2 vx here we have only vx. So first equation let's multiply into 2. So the entire equation becomes 4 ux plus 2vx equal to 2e power x cos y minus 2e power x sin y and second equation we have to write as it is minus 2vx plus ux equal to minus e power x sin y minus e power x cos y. Now, let's cancel 2vx and minus 2vx and by adding the remaining, we get 5ux equal to taking e power x common, this is 2 cos y minus cos y becomes cos y and minus 2 sin y minus sin y is minus 3 sin y. So, finally, we get ux equal to e power x by 5 into cos y minus 3 sin y. So we got ux but we need ux of z comma 0. So that we find it here by replacing x as z and y as 0 we get e power z by 5 cos 0 is 1, sin 0 is 0. So, we have this into 1. That's all. e power z by 5. Now, substituting e power x in the first equation here. So, 2 into ux from the first equation. 2 into ux is e power x by 5 into cos y minus 3 sin y equal to and on the other side sorry we have plus vx so we take plus vx and on the other side we have two terms which is e power x into cos y minus e power x into sin y e power x into cos y minus e power x into sin y now keeping this vx here, other side we have e power x into cos y 
minus e power x into sin y. Let's take this to the other side. Minus 2 by 5 e power x cos y minus 3 sin y. Taking e power x common, we get cos y minus sin y minus 2 cos y by 5 plus 6 sin y by 5. So by multiplying this inside, but e power x is common. So minus 2 by 5 cos y plus 6 by 5 sin y. Now, taking LCM, we get e power x. The LCM is 5. So 5 cos y minus 5 sin y minus 2 cos y plus 6 sin y. So bx is e power x by 5. Adding the cos term, we get 11 cos y. Sorry, adding the cos term, we get 3 cos y my plus sin y. Adding the cos term, 5 cos y minus 2 cos y is 3 cos y. Then adding sin term, minus 5 sin y plus 6 sin y is only sin y. So, we got vx, but we need vx of z comma 0. Here, e power z by 5 cos 0 is 1 and there is 3. So, it is 3. Because sin 0 will become 0. After getting this, we take f of z which is u plus iv. Now, f dash of z will become ux plus ivx. Using Milne-Thompson method, f of z is integral ux of z comma 0 into dz plus i integral vx of z comma 0 into dz. Now, we substitute ux of z comma 0 which is e power z by 5. e power z by 5 dz plus i integral vx is 3 e power z by 5 3 e power z by 5 dz and we have plus c also at the end. This integration is e power z by 5 only plus i into 3 by 5 is a constant e power z integration is e power z plus c. So finally we got f of z in which we can take e power z by 5 common so 1 plus 3i plus c. This is our required f of z.